What's going on guys, Casual Savage here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to render videos in Vegas Pro 14 for Instagram. So I'm going to be showing you two different ways you can render videos for Instagram. One where the video is going to be normal uh, widescreen, and one where the video is going to be square. So the first one I'm going to be showing you is where the video is widescreen. So come up to Project Video Properties. Now you need to change the width to 640. You need to change the height to 360. You want to make sure the pixel aspect ratio is set to 1, so it says square there. For the frame rate, you can stay at 30 FPS. However, I'm going to stick to 24 frames. And then everything else here, you can leave the same. Just simply select Apply and OK. Then set up your render regions like I already have here. Come up to Render As. Now what you want to do is render as main concept ABC slash AAC MP4 ABC. Select this arrow. So as you can see, this one right here, which says Apple iPad iPhone 4 720p 30 video, we're going to select customize template. So the first thing for the frame size, we're going to select it and select custom frame size. So remember we picked 640 by 360. And then the frame rate, I also picked 24. And then everything else we can leave the same, simply select OK. And I'm going to call this 640 by 360. From there, select render. It's going to be a quick render because it's a short video and it's also going to be a very small file size. So here's that video right here. And as you can see, it is only 3.89 megabytes. That's definitely one we can use because we're aiming for 25 megabytes and below. Now the next one I'll be showing you is making the video square, so we're going to come back up to the project video properties and this time you're going to set the width to 1080 and you're going to set the height to 1080. So from there again set your frame rate up to you how you want it, again make sure the pixel aspect ratio is set to 1 and square. Everything is good from here, select apply and ok. You can see the video has now become square. In some cases. After doing that, your video may look stretched. What you want to do is make sure you right click your video, select properties and make sure maintain aspect ratio is checked. Also disable resample to prevent any ghosting. From there, select OK. You can see the video is back to its standard size. And now we have these two black bars, which gives us space to put some text. So I'm going to right click, insert another video track, right click, insert another video track. I'm going to add text at the top and the bottom. So the first text is going to say vlogging transitions. And I'm going to use the event pattern crop to position this right there. I'm then going to put another one on and this one is going to say link in the bio. Again using the event pattern crop I'm going to put this at the bottom like so. Then expand this all the way out so it matches the video length and this is now done so if I play it through you can see this is how you will also see it on Instagram. So we're going to come back to render as we're still saying in main concept ABC, AAC, MP4, ABC, and we're still going to be picking the Apple iPad iPhone 4 720p 30 video. Select customize template. For the frame size, we're going to select custom frame size, and we're going to put 1080 width and 1080 height. And then for the frame rate, again, make sure you match it. So I picked 24 frames. Pixel aspect ratio is at one. I'm going to select OK, and I'm going to call this 1080 by 1080 and render. So you can see that is now rendered out. If I come back to that folder where the videos are, you can see here it is right here, 1080 by 1080, and it's only uh, 4.6 megabytes, under 25 by a large. So if I right click, select properties, come to the details, you can see it's rendered in 1080 by 1080 at 24 FPS. And then the other one is 640. Uh, you can see 640 by 360 at 24 frames per second as well. So that's how you do it. The next thing you can do, upload the files to Dropbox or just email it to yourself. I find emailing it would be the easiest option, but it's completely up to you. But that's it for this tutorial. Hopefully you've enjoyed it and hopefully this has been useful for you. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, rate, and peace.